Welcome back to another episode of Real Ass Affirmations with Chisa Penix Brown. Today's lesson is all about karma. So karma said, sometimes you have to suffer in life, not because you were bad, but because you didn't realize where and when to stop being good. Oh, was that a word? I think it was. Let me run that back for you. Karma said, sometimes you have to suffer in life, not because you were bad, but because you didn't realize where and when to stop being good. Now, let me tell you something. You are a good person and we all know it. That's why people use you. That's why you are always somebody's first, second and last call because you're reliable That's why people ask you to borrow money, because they know that you're not going to ask for it back. But when it's time for you to get what you need from these same people, do you feel like it's reciprocated? And the answer is probably no, because you were so busy being good to people and letting people use you. And it's not a bad thing to let people have things if you have an abundance. However, People take advantage of your kindness. And then when it's time for you to need something, all of a sudden, they do not reciprocate. So what's happening here? You are such a goody goody that it turns you into a monster whenever you actually say no to people. But guess what, beloved? It is time for you to flip the karma all the way around. Guess what you should say the next time somebody asks for something, whether it's big, small, infinitesimal, it does not matter. I need you to practice the art of saying no. Everybody, are you ready to say it with me? Because some of you, I am amazed at how much you will let happen to yourself without you actually taking the time to think about your well-being. You didn't think about your well-being because you know what you had. You felt like it was okay. And so part of that is because of the fact that you are a good person. But you need time to emotionally declutter and allow yourself the room to say no. And part of the problem is you may not actually know how to say no, because maybe you feel like everything else is your responsibility. But let me tell you what your responsibility is. Your words, your behavior, your actions, your efforts, your mistakes, your ideas, and the consequences of your actions. But what's not your responsibility? Other people's words, other people's mistakes, other people's beliefs, other people's ideas, other people's actions, and the consequences that those other people will have to suffer because you're going to say no. (sighs) Are you ready? One, two, three. No. I'm not going to be able to do that. No, I'm not going to be able to do that. No, I'm not going to be able to do that. Let's breathe in and exhale. Absolutely not. I'm absolutely not available. I'm absolutely not going to be able to do that. Absolutely not. Breathe in. And breathe out. I have reached my capacity. I have reached my capacity. I have reached my capacity. Let's do one more. You ready? Breathe in. Breathe out. The well is dry. Let's say it for the people in the back. The well is dry. One more time. The well is dry. Now, 
there are plenty more creative ways that you can say no. But I suggest that if you use any of these that I've already given you today, people will start to understand. And guess what you need to say after any of these declarative statements? Not a damn thing. Because no is a complete sentence. Absolutely not is a complete sentence. (laughs) <laughs> Some people didn't think that, but you got to laugh sometimes because the response that you're going to get from people is an internal laugh. But if you feel like you want to do it in real life, you go ahead and laugh at them too, because the well is dry and you have reached your capacity and you are not in a position to help someone else again. Now, this is not a lifelong thing, but you know those people that are users and you know those people that are never going to be able to reciprocate because of desire or because of sheer laziness. Either way, no, absolutely not. I've reached my capacity and the well is dry. I hope that this has helped you. Now, what I want you to do is subscribe. I want you to download this episode. And I also want you to share it with somebody who needs this message. And feel free to come back again and again to listen to any of our real ass affirmations because they are here because this is the shit you need to say to get you through your day. See you later, beloved.